The next candidate that I'll be talking with this morning is Vidal. He was born and raised in Key West. This is his first time running for office. Vidal, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. All right, Vidal, as I mentioned, you were born and raised here in Key West. You've spent many years building your wedding planning and photography business. Yeah, um, actually, uh, before I got into the wet, ev wedding and event planning business, um, I used to work in a shoe store on Duval Street where I got a lot of my experience with politics. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about, is that all my life I've been involved. It's not just being a wedding planner and a photographer because I read something very disturbing on Facebook that said I didn't have qualifications. And I looked at the people on the board and one of them is in crisis intervention, one's in employee development, a realtor, a deacon, a school teacher, a plumber, and a banker. So maybe it's time for the photographer to be there. But you know, in my work, I have to listen to people and I have to carry out their dreams. And I have to try to budget it according um, to what they want. It's not all what I want. And um, I think that I have the experience because I'm good at listening to people. And I'm good at carrying things through to the next level. The beautiful thing about this board, because I have been attending the meetings, they're very peaceful, they're very benevolent, and they all get along with each other. And the beautiful thing is that when they go to Keys Energy to present something to the board to be approved, the homework has been done. So all the facts are there as far as how much equipment's going to cost, budgets, and stuff like that. Great. Now, Fidel, what do you feel that a candidate needs to know before they can get elected to the board? I think you need to prepare uh, before you even sign the paperwork that says that you're going to run. Number one, you have to have a commitment in your heart to give 100%. Uh, even though I have a full-time business, I am willing to separate time for this. I, I have all my life, since I was a teenager, I've been involved in community service and giving back. It's part of my bloodline. Now, I'm the first person in my family to ever run for anything political where people vote for you but my family has a long history of firefighters and community service. So number one, you have to make sure that you're gonna run this thing with your heart. And this is not an ego trip. This is something where you have to collaborate with your community and listen to when people stop you in the grocery stores and CVS or the dry cleaners, you have to listen because they're gonna stop you. And you gotta make sure that you're ready for that commitment. It's not just the board meeting, it's 24 seven. Great. Now, what do you think are some of the major issues that are facing Keys Energy to this day? I'm glad you asked that because at the last meeting, um, I jotted down a few notes that I'm, I'm going to share with you. Um, increase in the fuel cost. Uh, we must continue to partner with other small utilities like the FMPA, which is the Florida Municipal Power Association. Um, these relationships will help us in futures by, uh, in full to hedge with the inflation of cost as well as having a front row seat on advancements in technology such as the small grid, the smart grid, um, which is a system that helps the companies run more efficient. Um, and also Keys Energy right now, at the last meeting, they're in the process of hardening its whole system in phases, and um, such as new um, poles, feeders, lines to be stronger for the storms. Fidel, I want to talk with you about the surcharge. What is your opinion on charging a surcharge for using one's credit card when they're paying a Keys Energy bill? I, I actually jotted that down because it's things that people have been really, really Facebooking me about and asking me and emailing me. Um, if we're going to take a hard look at that user fees for people paying their bills online, we need to work with um, the customers and be fair. Um, but I'm not going to make promises that can only be changed without the full support of the board. No one person can say, I'm going to change that when I get in, because that's impossible. Um, what I can do is work hard on the consensus, consensus to building and achieve what our ratepayers want. Um, it's definitely something to look into, but I have a way around it. I write a check and send it in. <laughs> okay, all right. Now, Vidal, obviously cost is one of the top priorities. That's definitely an issue for people. So what would you say would be your plan to help reduce cost of the operation? If you attend the meetings, which anybody can attend the meetings because they're not televised, you will see that the board always tries to cut rates. 
For instance, I just went to a meeting where they said that if we buy these certain pieces of equipment before the end of the year, that they'll give them a 50% discount. So they're always looking at, at, at ways to save money you know, for the consumer. And I, I want people to know that they're doing a great, great job. It's not that I want to go in there and micromanage everything. I'm not an engineer. I'm not an expert. What I am is somebody who's going to roll their sleeves up and learn as I go. And the way I plan to do that is to invest my time to go to all the seminars and the conventions and the workshops. Is there anything else you want our viewers to know this morning, Vidal? There's one thing that's been in my heart that I have to share with you guys that people's names that I have to mention. You know, besides thanking the Firefighters Local 1424 for supporting me and picking me as their candidate, um, a lot of my role models were Billy Apparuth, which I used to work for at the shoe store, which they named Apparuth Lane after. Um, Charles Sonny McCoy, Jimmy Weekly, Dennis Wardlow, uh, the Princess of Key West, which is no longer with us, Mary Spotswood, Wilhelmina Harvey, Jerry Pitha, my mom and dad, Emma Cates, and Peggy McLean. These are all people that were involved in politics and that I helped, w whether doing their photographs or holding banners or doing whatever, but I've always been involved with having an opinion for the best of my community. If you want any more information on Vidal, you can check out his Facebook page. You can also ask him any questions by just contacting the info that you see at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be back after these messages. Stay with me.